Hi everyone. The story that we're reading this week is called Rex by Simon James. He's our author and illustrator. This is one of my favorite dinosaur books. Once about 65 million years ago, there lived a terrifying Tyrannosaurus. He could crush boulders with his bare claws. He could pull whole trees out of the ground. He scared the Stegosaurus. He scared the Brontosaurus. He scared every saurus he saw. Each night he would stomp up into the hills looking for an empty cave to sleep in. The big dinosaur always slept well. No one dared to wake him. One night, an abandoned egg in the corner of a quiet cave began to crack and slowly open. A little dinosaur stepped out. It crawled and stumbled and stumbled and crawled toward a huge warm foot. The little dinosaur spoke his first word. Dada, he said. Who dares wake me up? roared the big dinosaur. I am Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rex? repeated the little dinosaur. You're no Rex, roared the big dinosaur as he stomped off down the hill. I am. Wait for me, Dad, said the little dinosaur. Little Rex hurried behind the big dinosaur as he scared the Diplodocus and the Trigonosaurus and terrified the Triceratops, the Iguodon, and the spiky Ankylosaurus. Here. At the end of the day, Rex followed the big dinosaur up the hill to find a cave for the night. You're terrific, Dad, said Rex. Will you teach me to roar like you? Shh, grunted the big dinosaur. I'm trying to get to sleep. Good night, Dad, whispered Rex. Grumbled the big dinosaur. Good night. Day after day, Rex followed the big dinosaur everywhere. When the big dinosaur roared, Rex roared. When the big dinosaur smashed up boulders, Rex smashed up boulders. Before long, Rex had learned how to uproot small trees. You're a fast learner, Rex, said the big dinosaur with a laugh. One day, the big dinosaur and Rex were relaxing by a warm river of molten lava. Dad, said Rex, when I grow up, will I be as terrifying as you? Will I, Dad? The big dinosaur was quiet for a moment. Listen, Rex, he said, you know, I'm not really your dad. You found me in a cave. Oh, said Rex. Really? Really, said the big dinosaur. That night, Rex couldn't sleep. He kept thinking about what the big dinosaur had said. He wondered where he really belonged. He decided he'd have to find out for himself. You see, he's leaving the cave. Rex wasn't sure where to look. He hadn't gone very far when he heard a noise behind him. Rex turned. A group of hungry eyes was staring right back at him. He took a big breath and roared his loudest, most fearsome roar. And then he ran. As fast as he could. Oh, but they're chasing him. Through the night, Rex ran. He ran over boulders, through swamps, over fallen trees, and only stopped when he was sure no one was following him. Lonely and afraid, Rex finally fell asleep. The next morning, Rex woke with a start. All around, the ground was quaking. The whole jungle shuddered with a deafening roar. It was the most horrible sound Rex had ever heard. He covered his ears. Suddenly, a huge foot crashed down right beside him. Rex couldn't look. He feared the worst. Help! He cried. Is that you, Rex? Said the big dinosaur. Dad! Shouted Rex. I'm so glad it's you, Dad! Said Rex. You really are so scary. I've been looking for you everywhere! Said the big dinosaur. The big dinosaur roared with delight. He roared so loudly it struck fear in every dinosaur across the valley. Except, that is, for Rex. I hope I'm as terrifying as you when I grow up, Dad, said Rex. I'll make sure of it, said the big dinosaur. That's what dads are for. The end.